Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do probably one of the most useful things ever added to uh, DaVinci Resolve, especially for people with bad computers like myself. This is going to help everyone out a lot and it's called the render in place feature. So just like Sony Vegas and After Effects, they have this like render in place thing where they can just have a preview, uh, a low quality preview that doesn't stutter when it plays and that really helped a lot so what we can see here that if i try to play this file it in 60 fps here it just does not play it but uh, usually if you want to play back like an entire file with a lot of clips like this it will not nev never play well what you want to do to do the render in, in place thing is you just want to right click on this and then you're just going to go ahead and click on render in place um, and you're just gonna go ahead and no, don't change any of the settings uh, it's fine you can just leave it at 720p because it's just gonna be a preview and when you render the entire final thing out it won't be like this so we just render it and then you, right here there's a uh, it just brings you to this PC and asks you where you want to put the render in place and you just go ahead and go ahead and add in a new folder and rename it render in place just like I did there and then you can just go ahead and select this folder and then it's gonna go ahead and render all right so now that it's done we can just see like the top bar thing go off and we can just scrub through this perfectly smoothly and it, it's basically just a buttery smooth clip so yeah there we go that's basically the effect and I'm just gonna put out some disclaimers right here um, this will not work for adjustment clips for some reason render in place I don't know why it, it uh, this is I mean this is the public beta so it might not work yet but right now if you click on render in place on an adjustment clip it just doesn't do anything so yeah keep that in mind and also if you're doing the uh, this with many layers on top in the edit tab it will not work either because if you have a mask um, then if after you render in place it will not work so yeah keep that in mind those are like the two main things stopping this from being like the e effect I would use for every single clip but those two are not that big of inconveniences and you can kind of get around them them so yeah that's pretty much it for this video I know this is a short one but I just kind of wanted to get this out here this is the best thing added to the Venture Resolve 17 the download for DaVinci Resolve 17 will be in the description and your experience may vary. I've been using DaVinci Resolve 17 perfectly fine, it does not like lag or whatever and it's basically a better version of 16 with a lot more cool effects and a lot better playback but it might like glitch out for some people because I've seen a lot of people who cannot even open it, open the entire who cannot even open the application so yeah um use it as your own risk it is a public beta so there might be some issues here and there but uh in my opinion this render in place is really just worth it especially if you have a lower end computer like me and you want to edit your clips in 60 fps and play them back smoothly and yeah that's basically it oh this is my fourth attempt at an outro but yeah peace out guys Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please subscribe. It'll help you out.